Richard comes in with a question regarding a system upgrade, and he has got... Is the Intel Core i5-12600K with 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance Pro 3600 memory a worthy upgrade to the 9900K? Primary use is gaming and some streaming. Thanks. I love you guys. URCD Keys is the best source for genuine Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys that work the first time, every time. Get 20% off normal prices using our discount code BST for Bite Size Tech and the link in the video description below. Richard, let's take a walk. Stop half upgrading your computer. Don't take two steps forward and one step back. It's almost two step forward and two steps back, but not quite because an i5-12600K is in fact faster than an i9-9900K in all respects. Mostly. Sort of. It is, but you're going from eight performance cores to six performance cores and four E cores. So you are going from an eight core chip to a 10 core chip, but you're going to a hybrid chip and down two rungs. You're going from the top of the line chip from two generations ago, the, the i9, i9 from the ninth gen. To the i5. Okay, technically three gens, but yes. the 11th gen Rocket Lake doesn't count. We're gonna pretend Rocket Lake didn't exist because that was stupid. So you're going back two gens to the i9-9900K, and then you're coming forward and you're going i9, i7, i5. You're going from the top end to the entry level. That's like going from a, a five-year-old tricked out premium Lexus with all the features to a Camry LX with cloth seats. Okay, it's a new car, but I think you're missing something in the process. It's such, it's such a not upgrade. You're spending all this money, you're gonna change your motherboard, you're gonna have to rebuild your system, reinstall Windows, if you don't reinstall Windows on a, on a motherboard change, you're crazy. Any streaming. So Any you, streaming? And gaming. Okay, those e-cores are for streaming, so you're going to go from eight cores to six Don't do that. What are you talking about, Willis? Okay, do it, and then in two years when it sucks, use our affiliate links. Two years? Don't reckon. Well, it depends on what games he's playing. And if he continues to stream, if he doesn't continue to stream. If, if the games that would run well on an i5-12600K... They would keep running on his current machine. Correct. That's the flaw with this plan. If if you think an i5 is all you need, then you don't need to change your computer. And here's the thing: an i9 9900K is still an amazing CPU. I still have mine at home, which I have not yet upgraded because I've been busy, and you know I'll, I'll get around to it. So here's the thing. There's plenty of people watching this video who are going to say, man, tech's crazy, tech's spoiled. I, I don't even have an i9. I've got an i5-7600, and I'd love to have an i9. That'd be amazing. Tech's crazy. Yeah, but Richard has the i9. And if Richard isn't happy with the i9 and wants an upgrade, he isn't going to be happy with an i5-12600K. No. It's, like, it's like, I'll just do this. The i9-12900K is expensive, to be sure. But it really isn't much more expensive than his i9 was. If he bought his i9 in October of 2018 when it launched, when it launched which is three years ago, $500. he paid $500. Yep. You can currently buy an i9-12900K for $600. Considering all the inflation and everything that's been happening, 20% more is reasonable. And then he goes to 16 cores and 24 threads. So he doubles his core count and 50% higher thread count because of the, the E-core exactly. thing. Yep. If he wants to compromise and is planning on building a premium machine and he thinks he'll upgrade to Raptor Lake, which is coming in about nine months, and he thinks, yeah, but I'll get the i9 for Raptor Lake and that's worth doing. Fine. The i7-12700K would be a reasonable compromise because that is eight P cores, keeping the same number of P cores that you have now. Yep. It adds the four E cores, which would be great for streaming. It's a nice middle choice, and honestly, it's only about $100 more than the i5-12600K. The i5 serves no purpose. It is dumb and stupid, and none of you should be buying it, even though it is the deal. 
if the only other option is the i9. When I did the launch review of the i5, I compared it to the Ryzen 5 5600X. Yep. I talked about it in value relative to the i9 12900K. But the truth of the matter is the real deal, which Intel didn't send any of us, is the i7 12700K. Okay. Or wait nine months, and we'll get a whole refresh and increase core counts across all the chips. Sure. Because the i5 is going up, the i7 will be 16 cores, and the i9 will be 24 cores in nine months. Why on God's green earth you would put a 6 plus 4 to replace an i9? That is just... With all due respect, Richard, that's a really poor use of your money. Either go big or don't waste your time. Wait for Raptor Lake. And honestly, unless you're just dying with your i9 9900K, I would say wait for Raptor Lake. Motherboards will be more available. The kinks will be worked out. There'll be more. Actually, there really aren't any kinks. I haven't had any problems with my with my Z690 boards. Everything worked day one without complaint. Um, but if you do want to get a big upgrade, going from eight cores to twenty four cores, yeah. What else do you want to add to this, my love? No, it's the argument is why do you want to change? Because you didn't say that in there. You didn't tell us your budget. You didn't tell us the games. If you're wanting to keep up with the new stuff, then the i5 12600K is not going to do it. Not when you're streaming it. For the benefit of everybody else watching, assuming I still have anybody watching after that rant, who should buy the i5? Okay. Grandma. No, let's say, well, that's not where I was going with it. That's bit overkill for grandma but it, it really is Whee! yes <laughs> let's say somebody's watching and they go tech i'd love to have that i've got an i5 7400 or 7600 i'm on four cores and four threads and i'm dying over here because i want to play battlefield 2042 and it runs like garbage on my computer okay there are some z690 boards you can buy for under 200 dollars. they're not great but if you are super tight on money then, fair enough, a $170 motherboard, which wouldn't be my first choice, DDR4, make sure it's DDR4, $170 motherboard with an i5-12600K and a Scythe Mugen 5 cooler, which is all it needs, I would skip the Hyper 212 levels, get a little bit better cooling, and go with a Scythe Mugen 5, it's 50 bucks, it's a great cooler. That would be an impressive upgrade for somebody from a 4 or 6 core i5. But do not upgrade from two or three generations ago of an i9 to a current generation i5 because you're going, I mean, you're up here, you're moving forward, but you're moving down. Move forward and stay at the same level or move forward and go up. Don't go down levels. That's like somebody who previously had a TLC uh, NVMe drive and they upgrade to QLC. It's like they had a... Ramless. <laughs> yeah, imagine somebody had a a Gen 3 TLC drive, and they upgrade to a Gen 4 QLC DRAMless drive. But it's Gen 4. Yeah, it wasn't an improvement. Mm -hmm. That's a... It... Okay, I think I've answered the question, but that's who should consider it. But I really think at, a very, at the very minimum, the i7-12700 is the sweet spot of value. It's 100 bucks more. By the time you bought a motherboard, rebuilt your system... It, do it right. Do it right or don't do it at all. Hopefully that helped you out. URCD Keys is the best source for genuine Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys that work the first time, every time. Get 20% off normal prices using our discount code BST for Bite Size Tech and the link in the video description below. $15 gets you a Windows 10 Professional OEM key that is a real product key, activates directly with Microsoft, use it forever as it links to your Microsoft account and it works through reinstalls. Get a full copy of Office 2019 Professional Plus for about $50 that redeems at setup.office.com using your Microsoft account. It also works forever through reinstalls. We have been using URCD keys for almost three years now and recommend you do so as well.